Hi guys, my name is Nevena and in this video I would like to introduce you to our lead support engineer Alexander. Hello. And Alexander would like to show us today how to connect Amelia with MailChimp. Many of you wanted to know how to send the data from Amelia to MailChimp directly and this is possible with the uh, webhooks feature in Amelia and we will use Z uh, Zapier here as well and don't worry, it is pretty easy so let's see what we can learn from Alexander today. Thank you, Nevena. No problem. So what we need here? Amelia, Zapier and webhooks. Exactly right. First thing to mention here is that webhooks by Zapier require a premium account. In MailChimp, you can create a free account. In this video, we will create a hook which will add the customer as a new subscriber to MailChimp. The example in our documentation shows you how you can add data in a Google spreadsheet, but it can provide some info on what steps need to be taken to create a Zap. We can click on this platform and it will take us to Zapier. I am already logged in, so I'm automatically redirected to my dashboard. In there, we can click on Make a Zap. The trigger that starts the zap needs to be a webhook. So we can type webhooks and click on webhooks by Zapier. As you can see, it's listed as a premium feature. Then we choose the trigger event, catch hook. Now all we need to do is click on continue. From this section, you will copy this URL into Amelia's settings. In Amelia's settings, we go to integrations, webhooks, add a new webhook, paste the URL that we just copied, name it, choose if it's an appointment or an event, and choose the action that will trigger the hook. For this video we will use Booking Completed. We save the hook and save the settings. Now that the settings have been successfully changed, we can go to Zapier. We can skip silent mode and pick off a child key and click on continue. Here we need to book an actual appointment so Zapier can catch the hook. We'll do this in a new private window, for example, March 2nd, continue, MailChimp test, webhook test at test.com, phone number, let's say 141414, 14, 14. confirm, there we go. Now we click on test trigger. And again, and there it is. So we can see the appointment ID, customer ID, name, a lot of data in here. We just click on continue and move to the action. Action is MailChimp. So we click on MailChimp, choose an event which will be add or update the subscriber, continue. We choose an account. I am already logged into MailChimp through Zapier, but if you're doing this for the first time, you will need to log in. Now when we click on continue, we set up the action. So audience is coming from my MailChimp account. Customer email is not an actual email, but email that is sent by the hook. webhook test. Double opt-in is not something that we will choose. This is something like a two-factor authorization. If you want your customers to verify they want to be added as a subscriber, you can enable this so they can receive an email confirmation before they're added or updated as subscribers. We'll allow updating of the existing user, so in case any new data is added, it is automatically changed in MailChimp. We'll skip groups and language, but we can choose the tag that I predefined in MailChimp account. Set to staff. Now we choose first name, last name, 
We'll skip the address and everything because that's not being sent by Amelia. But we can choose the phone number. Here it is right here. And click on continue. Okay, so we can see the data here. And now we can test and review. There, a subscriber was sent to MailChimp just now. Let's check that. We can refresh the page. And this is the webhook MailChimp test that we just booked the appointment with. So we can turn on this zap. It will ask you to share the link. We don't need to do that right now, but we can book another appointment just to verify that it's working again. So let's say March 3rd at 10 a.m. Another MailChimp test at hellothere.com 151515 confirm and that should be it. Let's refresh the page again. And here's the new subscriber. So that's pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions, please feel free to open a ticket or reach out to us in the comment section below. Thank you, Alexander, for showing the procedure. And thank you guys for watching. If you have any other questions, you can leave them in the comments. Bye. Bye-bye.